How you doing there, folks? Danny Boy here. A while back, I did an article titled Tension, Steph Guthrie and the University of Toronto Feminists. In that article, uh, I uh, put in a link to a recorded call to White Ribbon uh, folks. Now, when White Ribbon found out about that damning call, uh, they complained about it to SoundCloud and had it removed. You can see the evidence of that right here. Now, White Ribbon and folks are coming back to Hamilton again, just like they did for Slut Walk 2013 back in June. And uh, this time it's for Take Back the Night. Now, there's two people involved of interest, uh, Jeff Pereira and uh, Ron Couchman. Um, there's also a third person who I'm going to point out, and that's in their staff directory here, and that is uh, Clay, a person by the name of Clay. And uh, Clay is the person whom I talked to from White Ribbon when I called them back uh, earlier in the year. Ron Couchman's interesting. Uh, he comes uh, from the Ottawa Coalition to End Violence Against Women. Now, for those of you who do not know, um, I've had dealings with them before, and they put out uh, a nice bit of femi fraudulent factoid literature called Hidden from Sight, Volume 2, um, in which they claim that almost 1.2 million women uh, were victims of domestic abuse in the uh, general social survey taken by Statistics Canada in 2009. Uh, that was a lie. Uh, the facts are that 601,000 women and 585,000 men were victims. And you can see the evidence of that here. So, without further ado, yeah. on to the call, the White Ribbon call. Uh, like I said, they're going to be in Hamilton uh, tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to go with some facts and uh, I've got them already done, ready to go. Um, and uh, let's just see if they're going to tell some truth instead of spreading more lies. Pay attention to the end of the call, folks. It's pretty interesting. Danny Boy out. Hello, and welcome to White Ribbon. If you know the extension of the person you are trying to reach, please enter it now. For our company directory by last name, please press 9. For general inquiries, please press 2 or visit our website at whiteribbon.ca. For inquiries about... Good afternoon, Clay speaking. Hi, how are you doing there, uh, Greg, is it? Uh, Clay. Clay? Hi, yeah. how are you doing today? Uh, yeah, I just uh, kind of stumbled across your, your website there, mm -hmm. uh, White Ribbon, uh, and uh, is it domestic violence? Um, that's the overarching goal, um, but uh, what we do is we speak with men <clears throat> about uh, uh, getting involved, speaking out uh, against gender-based violence and you know, trying to promote healthy fatherhood and, and things like that. So, yeah. so, so gender-based violence, uh, yeah. like... You guys don't speak out against all domestic violence? Our focus is on uh, men, uh, violent behaviors uh, perpetrated by men. Really, really? Um, is there any reason why you, you don't uh, uh, you know, speak out against all domestic violence? Uh, like, I've seen like an ABC a show that said, uh, what would you do? And there was like uh, this woman was just like beating on this guy. It was like incredibly heinous and, and nobody spoke out and said anything about it. And I'm, you know... You yep. guys are supposed to speak out against, you know, domestic violence. Why aren't we speaking out against it for both well, our, our, our focus is on dealing with men and men's use of violence uh, with a focus on gender-based violence. Now, what we do address does touch on um, the violent behaviors of men towards other men, uh, you know, harmful ideals of patriarchy and masculinity and all that kind of stuff. That's just our focus. That's what we've chosen to focus on. But, like, what, like, what would a guy do who's, like, uh, you know suffered domestic violence by a woman? Um, there are resources available out there. Um, I mean, we're also not a counseling organization, so we don't offer support, uh, counseling support, uh, either way. Um, we're more of an education and awareness uh -huh. organization, so um, there are certainly places avail available to get support for that. Do you know any of those ones? Yep. Here, one sec. I don't always have it off the top of my head, so I'm just pulling it up for you. Of course, your name's going to be slow today. Yeah, maybe it's too fast. Um, there is... So are you calling from Canada by any chance? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. That's just 
where I have most of the information as a Canadian organization. Um, just a second, I'm just going to pull up the details here. Uh, Sorry about this. That's fine. So basically, the uh, Canadian Center for Abuse Awareness is where you want to, to get in touch. I can give you their phone number if you'd like. Isn't that, isn't that about uh, sexual violence? Um, yeah, I mean, that's their, certainly that's their main focus. They certainly have resources for uh, domestic violence as well. I mean, you certainly know your stuff, so um, that's good. That's what you've, you've searched around for. Well, yeah, because, yeah. you know, like, uh, uh, as a victim uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, domestic violence, from a woman onto a man, I would think that, you know, we would, want, we would want to take care of the whole problem and not just half the problem. Well, we're, that, that's our, I agree with you, as in, I'm not trying to say that you're wrong at all, it's just White Ribbon Campaign has a focus on that, that's just our, that's our mandate. Well, don't you think the White Ribbon Campaign might want to take, pay attention to the general social surveys, which uh, for the last 15 mm -hmm. uh, years put it at about 1% difference between who's committing uh, uh, domestic violence against their spouse between men and women. Well, I mean, I'd have to, there's stats uh, that totally disagree with that. There's stats, you know, 99% of all, you know, perpetrators of rape are men, so it's all, you know... Well, that's kind of interesting. If we want to throw stats around, we can do that. But that, if we that's kind of interesting when the definition of rape only includes penetration and not envelopment. Oh, give me a break. Okay. Um, do you actually who want to start fighting... Uh, no, no, I was just kind of curious, but I was just, uh, you know what, I was just, I'm just kind of curious about your organization. Thank you very much. You have a yeah, good day. Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye.